Exeter Cathedral is a magnificent Gothic cathedral located in the city of Exeter, Devon, England. The cathedral, dedicated to St Peter, is one of the most impressive examples of medieval architecture in the United Kingdom. Exeter Cathedral was founded in 1050 by Bishop Leofric. The cathedral was originally constructed in the Romanesque style, but in the 13th century it was rebuilt in the Gothic style. The construction of the cathedral took over a century to complete, with the final stages of the building taking place in the 14th century. The cathedral's design was influenced by other great cathedrals of the time, such as Salisbury Cathedral and Wells Cathedral. Exeter Cathedral has played a significant role in the history of England. The cathedral was a site of important historical events, such as the consecration of Bishop Bartholomew Iscanius in 1161 and the coronation of King Henry III in 1216. The cathedral was also an important centre of learning, with a school that was established in the 12th century. In the medieval period, Exeter Cathedral was one of the most important pilgrimage sites in England. Pilgrims came to the cathedral to see the relics of St Edmund, a Saxon king who was martyred by the Danes in the 9th century. The cathedral also housed other important relics, such as the head of St Sidwell, a local martyr. The cathedral's significance continued into the modern era. During World War II, the cathedral served as a refuge for civilians during the bombing of Exeter. The cathedral also played an important role in the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings, with a special service held in June 2019. Exeter Cathedral is one of the most impressive examples of medieval architecture in the United Kingdom. The cathedral's design reflects the development of Gothic architecture in England, and the cathedral's west front is one of the most impressive examples of Gothic architecture with its intricate carvings and elaborate sculpture. The cathedral's interior is equally impressive with a series of beautiful stained glass windows and a vaulted ceiling that is supported by elegant columns. The cathedral's choir screen, which dates back to the 14th century, is another impressive example of medieval craftsmanship. The cathedral also houses a beautiful example of an astronomical clock. The clock is thought to date from around 1484. The outermost numbered circle of the main dial is decorated with a fleur-de-lis which represents the sun and which orbits the dial once every 24 hours. This indicates the hour of the day, counted from 1 to 12 in Roman numerals in first, the right and then the left hemisphere of the clock face. This is an example of a 24-hour analogue dial. The tail of the sun's fleur-de-lis points to the day in the lunar month on the inner number ring. The earth is represented as a fixed golden ball in the center of the dial. The Latin inscription, Periat ep impubintur, below the main dial, may be translated as, the hours pass and are reckoned to our count. A small bell located behind the clock dial chimes the quarter hours. On the hour, this is followed by the striking of the Peter bell in the tower above. <laughs> In 1759, the small upper dial was added, with a single hand to indicate the minutes. The clock room is behind the dial on the north wall of the transept, and still houses the clock mechanism. Access is via a doorway visible in the stone wall directly beneath the clock. Legend suggests that the round hole cut in the bottom of the door was for the cathedral cat to gain entry to keep the clock clear of mice and rats. The modern clock mechanism was installed in 1885 by Gillett and Bland of Croydon. The clock was restored in 1910 by John James Hall, and the clock is reputed to be the source of the nursery rhyme Hickory Dickory Dock, probably inspired by the round hole in the door described above. Exeter Cathedral is a magnificent Gothic cathedral that has played an important role in the history of England. The cathedral's construction, significance and architecture 
or reflect the cultural and historical developments of England in the medieval and modern periods. Exeter Cathedral remains an important cultural and historical landmark, attracting visitors from all over the world.